Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. So today I am going to work on this uh, stylized looking tree. So this is this tree is from the Paragon assets, actually uh, Unreal Open World asset, one of the trees that you can find there. And I have turned it into a stylized looking tree. Uh, in this episode so that's what I am going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right uh, so I am back on my stylized project and here I'm trying to refer to this uh, Zelda style and try to mimic the same style here uh, not actually the same exactly as it is but I am referring to this and changing my level okay so this is what I have so far I have already worked on stylized grass and stylized landscape so but these uh, trees are uh, realistic ones directly from Paragon assets, so I'm going to work on them Okay, let's see what I can do Let me Open the tree first Okay, this is the material So first I need a stylized texture instead of these uh, realistic textures okay so let's export this texture into as an image let's export well for normal texture normally for textures we have this export option but uh, why it's not here it should be here and as it actions but for some reason it's not okay well uh, yeah, I just uh, do a bit of uh, research and it seems that Paragon, the Epic has explicitly make them not possible to export. So, yeah, let's see. Let's ta just take a snap using the snipping tool. right let's go back to unreal sorry photoshop let me create a new texture a 1k texture and paste it here right so let's apply some filters to this texture and make it a more stylized version of this okay so this is the stylized version of the same texture i'll save this one and i have imported that texture to the project like this so right now let's um, replace this realistic texture with 
the stylus texture and see what happens where are the options okay so first for the stylized version I don't really need a normal map usually so therefore I'll disconnect this normal map because we usually don't see normal map details in these trees I guess I'm not sure but let's see so for now I'll disable the normal map and this is the material instance so I'll use this material all right so this is how the tree bark looks now I guess I need to enable this metallic spec values oh I guess not we can just use them like this okay apply so if you are not sure well this material we created uh, some time ago a few episodes ago so you can refer to those videos okay now this is how it looks and yeah unfortunately we can see some seams here well what can I do about that to avoid this tiling okay uh, let's uh, go back to Photoshop and to avoid tiling let's try this I'm gonna duplicate uh, this is this is the original texture I'm gonna duplicate the stylized texture and move them both like this wait wait no not like that okay so this is the stylized texture uh, because the reason to get that is this one had these extra parts so I don't need that one I only need this one okay I'll make another copy of this one and move them both like this and yeah move the first one like that and the second one wait I selected both second one like this so here you can see the C now I'll transform this one with the horizontal minus 100 okay so now you don't see the seam here all right is that all right so how to check if I got rid of the tiling well let's create another texture and uh, I'll import the previous texture as a smart object and sorry scale it down 
half. Then duplicate the same thing. Well, yeah, I guess I have fixed the issue. Okay, let's save this one. And re-import. Yeah, now we don't see the same anymore. Good. So how does it look in the world? Okay, now it looks like a stylized tree. But is this color scheme good? Well, I don't know. Well, let's worry about that later. Okay, so now what shall we do with the leaves? Well, let me open the tree model again. Yeah, this is the leaves material. And this is the leaves texture. Alright, so as usual, we can't export these two. But uh, so, how can I get this to Photoshop? Well, let's take a snip of this texture. Well, it's not perfect. Okay. Right. And we have another type of texture here, right? And using this, we can select only the texture area. First, we need to carefully match these two, otherwise it won't work properly. Right, it should be all right now. Let's see. Okay. Now I'll increase the opacity of this one to 100% again and put this one above. and enlarge both textures to match this scale okay 
now views in let's go to select color range and select black right now I can select the black areas like this and I'll hide this one delete right now everything should be gone well not we have some issues here let's try again Well, this seems good enough. Okay, so I have done so I applied some filters to make it look like a toward a tone effect. So I'll save this one and import it to Unreal. right now this is that texture and let's use it instead of this one seems fine let's see how the tray looks okay it seems well stylized enough at least for now okay In the distance it looks like this when I go closer it looks like this all right I think I'll stop this episode at this point and and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching See you in the next episode. Goodbye.